Hi guys and welcome back to Is It Worth It Reviews. I'm Srboljub Stojanovic and today we are talking about SMSL DO400. And this one costs $4.99 and it's a DAC, but it's also a headphone amp. So if you look at the back, you'll see single-ended outputs, RCA, balanced XLRs, those are line outputs. Uh, they are also variable, so you can control the volume. And then you have all the usual digital inputs, including Bluetooth. But one digital input is not really all that common in this price range. And that's I squared S. So pretty nice connectivity on the back. And in the front, you can see a group of headphone outputs. Because as I said, this is also a head amp. Now, looking uh, at the specs, it seems like both of these sections, DAC and head amp, are done with uh, the same amount of care. So none of these play the second fiddle to the other one. So for example, the DAC is based around flagship Sabre DAC chip, 9039 Pro, something like that, I'll put that on the screen. And that one is not common at this price point, really. But you should know that the device is not its chip. There is much more to the sound, like uh, power supply than the output stage. The chip is just one of the ingredients. But that said, it's nice to see such high quality chip in the deck section. The head amp is uh, pretty powerful, uh, maxing at 6 watts, I believe, into 16 or 32 ohms. Once again, I'll put that on the screen, but it is a powerful head amp. So on paper, this looks uh, like a pretty mighty DAC and a pretty mighty headphone amp too for $4.99. Now, this being an SMSL means it has color display and uh, some nice menus that you can tinker with. For example, you can change digital filters, you can change sound color, and you can play with that for yourself. One thing that I always suggest is go into the DPLL setting and uh, put it on the minimum. That way you'll gain a little bit of fidelity for no cost at all. If the connection is stable, and most of the times it's stable enough with the digital source, so you don't need uh, that high DPLL setting and you will gain a little bit of sound fidelity by dialing it down to the minimum. Aside from that, it's a usual SMSL. You have a remote, you can control and use it volume knob, you can tinker with these few settings, you can adjust the brightness of the display, uh, auto switch it off after the amount of seconds that you choose or minutes and that's all nice and dandy but what about the sound well first i started listening to it as a deck only using its line outputs and what i noticed is uh now, I know I'm repeating this quite a lot lately, but it's only because that's true. It sounds very neutral. Uh, SMSL used to make some warmer sounding decks in the past, but they are approaching neutrality more these days. For example, Topping used to make more analytical sounding decks in the past, but they are also approaching to something much more neutral and more natural sounding these days. So I'm actually happy to say that most of their DACs are neutral sounding in tonality nowadays, and so is the DO400. And aside from that, the detail retrieval is really good, the soundstage depth and width is uh, quite decent, uh, instruments are pinpointed with great precision, they're well separated, and this thing just sounds good on its line outputs. But of course, that's not enough, so I quickly compared it to several other DACs uh, to assess how good it actually is. And uh, first, I started with a uh, lower priced topping E32. And uh, I used a linear power supply, Aloshanti, connected to E32 to make it a more fair fight, because this is only a 150 DAC. And 
E32 is a great DAC, but it cannot match the DAC inside of this SMSL. It sounds slightly more veiled, the bass line is a little bit muddier, and the sound stage is a bit narrower. So that's a good start, meaning this combined DAC and headphone amp already has a better DAC section than a standalone, great standalone 150 DAC. This is not just any 150 DAC, it's my current reference at that price point. So I had to move to something more capable. For that I used topping E70 Velvet. Now this is 450 US dollars standalone DAC. No headphone outputs, no streaming capabilities, just a good old DAC at 450. And I'm happy to say that DO400 is completely on pair with E70 Velvet. And that's great news because E70 Velvet and SMSL SU9 Pro are the best uh, DAX, standalone DAX, that I've heard up to 500 US dollars. And uh, I kept E70 Velvet with me, I had to choose between one of these, but SU9 Pro was equally good. And then now we have DO400 that is a combined DAC and headphone amp. It is $50 more expensive than E70 Velvet, but it's fully matching its sonic qualities. The, the sound of these, it's actually really weird. I usually describe differences, but here today there are no differences to talk about. SMSL DO400 might sound ever so slightly sharper on the edges, and E70 Velvet is ever so slightly softer on the edges, and maybe slightly richer uh, when it comes to tone texture but we are talking about 1 or 2 percent differences. And I had to change them several times in my main setup that is really resolving it good these days to even notice that. In the majority of systems I would bet that I could not and that the owners of those systems could not notice any meaningful difference between DO400 and E70 Velvet. Which is great, as I said this is a combined unit, you do get a headphone amp on top of the DAC, but that DAC section is good enough to stand next to the best standalone DACs up to 500 US dollars. And is that additional price for DO400 worth it? Is this headphone out any good? Well, we are going to talk about that now. It is good. Uh, everything about sounding neutral and really resolving stands for headphone outs too. And I immediately moved to comparisons because you know, that's the, the most convenient and most useful way to describe the sound. Just repeating the same description uh, that I did for the DAC section is not all that useful. So I first started comparing this uh, headphone output with uh, my current favorite DAC and headphone amp at this price point, and that's Topping DX5. I was pretty fond of this unit, I, I still am by the way, just uh, make no mistake. And uh, when I compared these two directly, I noticed that DO400 is ever so slightly cleaner sounding and it has a, a, a bit better control of the bass line. And because of that the, the whole sounds gets a little bit tidier and cleaner. Now the difference is not huge, it's not big at all, they're much more alike than they are different, but if I had to choose one it would be DO400, a few percents better performance than DX5. But if we would to talk about their line outputs, their DAC outputs, the gap becomes bigger then DO400 is noticeably better DAC than uh, DX5 is. 
DX5 sounds somewhat leaner and flatter and it's just not as dynamic and lively sounding and as wide spacious sounding as the 0400. So if you need a good DAC primarily or, or you need both a good DAC and a good headphone amp, go for the 0400, it is a better device. On the other hand, uh, there is an argument here to be made for DX5 if you only need headphone output, if that's only that you're going to use. In that case, DX5's performance is close enough that if you can find a good deal on it, it can actually be a better value than the 0400, even though in absolute terms it's not as good, it's almost as good. And if you can find it at a really good price, maybe the X5 Lite is the same unit by the way, just without MQA, it can still be a great purchase. But for those of you who would use DAC outputs, line outputs, DO400 is a better deal. Now that left me with comparing it to some pricier uh, DACs and head amps just to see if it's maybe an overachiever. And for that I used Chord Mojo 2 and uh, yeah, the DO400 is not an overachiever really. Mojo 2 sounded more resolving and richer in tone timbre, no matter if you used it as a DAC or as a headphone amp. Uh, it's less powerful than DO400, but it is richer sounding, more resolving. And the same story was with Aune S9C. Uh, that's around 750 US dollars DAC and head amp, amp combo and it sounds cleaner, it resolves details with more ease and there is more dynamic uh, punch, more dynamic grunt with that unit than with the 0400. But once again those differences are not huge, if you expect some spectacular spectacularly more resolving sound and spectacularly more dynamic sound, it's not like that. It's just enough uh, for most of you to notice that and appreciate it, but it's not some groundbreaking difference. Which actually leads me to the conclusion. The 0400 is one of those devices that uh, it doesn't bring anything spectacularly new. It cannot uh, win when compared to pricier uh, devices, but also it easily wins when compared to more affordable devices, meaning that its price is well judged. You get good uh, performance for that amount of money that you paid for it. But the thing that I really liked about the 0400 is how well it's balanced across the board. So for example, we do have uh, already on the market uh, something like Topping DX5 that has great headphone output, but it's not as competent on its line outputs. On the other hand, we used to have something like SMSL M500 MK2 and MK3 too, but I only had and tested MK2, that was pretty great DAC, but not as competent headphone amp. And I was recommending these according to your needs, like if you want a good headphone output, go for this topping, if you want a really good DAC, go for M500, and you'll have like a fairly competent head amp in that case, or fairly competent DAC, in the case of the X5. With SMSL DO400, I do not have to recommend in that way that uh, notifies you that you do make some sacrifices. Because here we have a DAC that's as competent as the best standalone DACs at that price point. It's not better than them, but it's as competent. With headphone output that's as good and even slightly better as the best headphone output on a DAC that I've previously tested. 
meaning that DO400 is a great value across the board. It's just a well-judged, well-balanced device that will perform really well no matter how you use it. And that would be all, guys. I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more coming soon. Bye. Thank you.